Hi there, welcome to the Becca How To Series. I'm Jen Vaughn and today we're going to talk about the jib camera. Now the same safety rules apply. Always wear studio appropriate attire, including closed toed shoes. Remember to leave a safety loop when you truck your jib into place. Always remember, don't force it. And we're going to add a new rule today. Don't run over, step on, kink, or break the fiber optic cable. All right, we'll talk more about that later. Now the main things we're going to talk about with the jib today are the brakes, how to truck your jib into place and lock it there safely, our crane lock and pan lock, and our tilt, pan, and zoom controls. Well, the jib camera is very much like a studio camera, but as you can see, it has a very long arm extending out here. And when you truck this jib into place, lift this up so that you take the brakes off the wheels, that way your wheels can turn freely. When you want to lock it into place, you want to line the wheels up in alignment with this bar here and bring your lock down so that it fits into one of these holes. Now you are unable to turn that wheel or move in any direction. So once you get your jib into place, lock down all three of those wheels. Place where you have your locks, it's going to be right here in the center. Your pan lock will prevent you from panning the jib left or right with the crane. There's two places to pan the jib. One place you could pan is right here at the crane. We usually call this craning left or craning right. When this is locked, this prevents it from moving. No movement left to right. Unlock this so that you can move left to right. All right, our second lock here is the crane lock. This lock prevents it from craning up or down. When this is locked down, righty tighty, you won't be able to change your crane position. Always make sure you keep this loose and unlocked when operating the jib. You don't want to make, don't want to ruin this plate here. Locked, unlocked, so that you can move the jib arm. Now the rest of our controls are done down here on this end of the jib. Jib operator would make sure to connect their PL Speak to the control room with the PL here. All right. And then we have our zoom controls, which will allow you to zoom in or out. Our focus control is actually underneath. It's this knob here, which allows you to focus. Make sure not to press this button, because that will disengage your manual focus. If you press this button, your manual focus is disengaged. So don't press this button unless you want to disengage your manual focus. Now our zoom controls here go in or out. And then we also have a focus right here, which allows you to focus faster or slower. Over here on the side, we have zoom rate and zoom direction, the zoom rate allows you to make faster zooms or slower zooms. The zoom direction changes between zooming in or zooming out. Pan, tilt, combination, diagonal, Always make sure when you pan, don't pan too far to the left or you will get your cords wrapped up around there. So make sure that when you're panning not to go beyond 180 degrees. And when you're tilting, same concept, you don't want to overextend the tilt, so don't go beyond the plane of 180 degrees. 